Nordhaven 475 is based on the hull of the Nordhaven 43, but will be a completely different boat, starting with a completely new deck and flybridge. She is a replacement for the Nordhaven 40 and 43. This is a forward cockpit design with the crane and tenders stored on the rear. Just from the side profile, anyone could tell this is a Nordhaven, and I can't wait to go over it with you today. Before we start, if you enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up, and if you love it, subscribe and ring the bell for more videos just like this. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, be sure and let us know in the comments below. After looking at the admittedly far from complete Nordhaven 148, I wanted to get back to a model that's truer to Nordhaven's trawler roots. The Nordhaven 475 expands upon the 43, lengthening the design in order to provide greater space in the cockpit, as well as more room up top for toys and a larger tender. The N475 was created to satisfy a desire in Nordhaven's customers for a mid-range boat at a great value something I think they've achieved. The Nordhaven 475 is a trawler design through and through, something instantly recognizable in any harbor you frequent. One thing I like about Nordhaven's design is the lack of frill on them. The impression is one of measured perfection. I think the two-tone paint on the Nomad model is incredible looking, and the mix of square, rectangular, porthole, and oval windows is proportional and very well done. There are no dagger window designs on a Nordhaven. This design has a forward pilot house, so the only room on the bow is for storage, the anchor, locker, etc. All of your outdoor time will be spent on the enlarged rear deck, which is now big enough to fit four adults around a table with some room to spare. The rear deck is enormous and can fit a 10-foot dinghy within the guardrails. The flybridge isn't very large, enough for two chairs and a sitting area behind it, but it has great visibility for when the weather is fair. One thing I love about Nordhaven is the cozy, traditional interiors they design, and the Nordhaven 475 is no different. Upon entering the main deck, you are greeted with an interior of light brown carpeting, dark teak wooden fixtures, and white fabrics. It looks great. Port are two very comfortable looking recliners with a large shared armrest. Behind them is an enormous window which is mirrored on the other side and lets a ton of light in while allowing an amazing view out. There's also a fold down television above the couch, which really looks like it's used for or from the two recliners. There's also some storage on this side. Starboard is an L-shaped couch with a table. Further forward on the port side is the galley, which is a really nice space. There is a small island here for extra counter space, a porthole window for ventilation, a two basin sink, refrigerator freezer, stove, microwave, and even a trash compactor. Starboard are the stairs leading up to the pilot house, which has a huge picture window looking forward with an enlarged pilot berth behind for guests. Moving below, we have a guest stateroom in the bow with its own bathroom that has kind of room for three people, but really two. Um, perhaps two kids could fit on the port bed because it has a really weird shape. Um, I don't think two adults or even teenagers are gonna, are gonna sleep there. Um, really one looks like it would be comfortable. The master cabin is located amidships. It has a large bed on the port side surrounded by hanging storage. There is a private bathroom as well on the starboard side. The rooms below have the same heavy woodish styling of the rest of the ship in teak and look very warm and accommodating. All in all, I like both the exterior and interior look of the Nordhaven 475. It has a reliable, no-nonsense exterior mixed with the luxurious and functional interior, making for a yacht any owner is likely proud of. What did you think? of the Nordhaven 475? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. But if you loved it, consider subscribing for more videos just like this one injected directly into your YouTube feed. And while you're at it, check out these other videos on our channel because there's always interesting and exciting things to watch here on Neon Cap. I'm Phil, thanks for watching.